Hello and welcome to MyCadSite.com and I'm here to show you how to do exercise number 10 and this is from uh, the tutorials on the website and here we're drawing two different shapes using a uh, few different commands can all things that are very common basic tools for drawing anything in AutoCAD and these are just basic machine parts for example and this one we start with a rectangle and then we round the corners with a 0.5 radius on the two sides and then we need a cutaway in the middle and we know that the center is at the midpoint so we select that and put in a radius of 1.5 and from there all we need to do is trim out the circle and the line using a cutting window so now we need to put in circles in the corners and this is at the same point as the center and it's a 0.2 diameter sorry radius and I'll just mirror that to the other side and now we know that we've got everything in there go ahead and draw the second shape and this one's going to start with two circles and the first one is going to be a one unit diameter circle and the outer one a three unit diameter circle now to get the keyhole at the top, I'm just going to draw a line up the middle, offset at 0.2 to each side so that I get the 0.4 width. Now I need to come down three, sorry, 0.6 from the top of the circle. And for that, I use the intersection so that I'm at the intersection of the center line and the top of the circle. And from there, I'm just going to move that over a little and then offset at 0.6. I could also just move it down 0.6 so I don't have to erase the original line. That'd be the smart thing to do. And now it's just a matter of trimming up. I've got everything drawn in place that I need. So I select the lines I need to trim. Those are my cutting edges and now I'm trimming away the lines I need. And then erase the one in the middle and that one's done. So now I'm just going to dimension it up and confirm that all the measurements are as they should be. And you'll see I'm using O snaps. In this case, I'm typing in the quadrant, QUA, to get that measurement for the 0.6. And from there, I'm just going to go around. So just to review the tutorial, uh, you're going to be using a lot of different tools in different ways. And the main thing to remember is that there's more than one way to draw something in AutoCAD and what I've shown you here isn't necessarily the best or the quickest but I just looked at the drawing and I was able to look at what I know get take the information off the drawing and reproduce it into AutoCAD based on the knowledge I have and in this case I used a very small number of tools or commands to get this drawing completed and fairly quickly as well so thanks for watching. This is mycadsite.com. Stay tuned for more videos.